Hello guys, how are you doing? Well, I'm back with a review of a new fragrance that I just bought, but I had tried this already last week, last Saturday. It at the shop, of course, and uh, I was really pretty stunned actually by it, but I didn't want to get it right then. I just wanted, you know, to have some time to think over it <laughs> because I have done some hasty buys in the past and I regret it. So, but uh, one first thing about this fragrance which stunned me was the longevity. It's got great longevity for a fragrance that is not, uh, you know, something like a, you know, red tobacco, or, you know, some kind of leathery, uh, yeah, ambery fragrance, whatever. So this is, and this is my first introduction to this new, this house, which is apparently quite, you know, famous and, uh, Respected in Charles Memo, Paris, and this is Argentina. First of all, I must say I'm quite stunned and appalled. That actually, there are really f very few reviews of this fragrance alone, just you know, for this fragrance, not for the whole, you know, house. And I wonder why. B maybe because it is more known for making these leather fragrances. And I have tried a couple of those, but they did. They were all right. Didn't really blow me away. But uh, I can't now remember which ones exactly. I think one of them was probably African leather, and yeah. So uh, and then I, you know, I this one captured my attention because of the beautiful bottle design and the name itself. You know, it kind of back <laughs> beckons, you know you to to it <laughs> and uh, I just had to try it because you know I, I was expecting something you know very Latin American and uh, yeah I guess you can say this one has some of that feeling so yeah what what is this what does it smell like well this is a rose wood combination right However, it does smell like a little bit musky, and that's what I first f thought that uh, it, this was. Before I knew there was any rose in it, I thought this was a musky fragrance. Because of that combination, right, rose and wood, it can give you that feeling. So here is some uh, information from the site itself, memoparis.com. It says, uh, Tango Rose, with Argentina, Memo plunges into the heart of a territory, a country, to rhythm of a dance, passionate impulse. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so the notes are uh, pink pepper, essence of rose, jasmine, sambac, absolute, and uh, Egyptian jasmine, absolute. Magnolia oil and Cipriol. And uh, also, I don't know why it doesn't uh, say here, but uh, it contains, as I saw in one another review, it does contain natural wood, which is very expensive. Yes, so I uh, might just as well spray it on my skin again. <laughs> I mean, wow, just from smelling it like this <laughs> you know, wow just gotta say wow so mm, there's a lot of sweetness right away a lot of richness this is definitely a rich and quite opulent fragrance because of course of the wood and rose combination Oh man, this is just wow, breathtaking! You <laughs> know, this is really, really good and it knocks you off your feet. You know, pretty much. <sighs> hmm, interesting. 
You know when I actu actually what happened when I sprayed last last weekend I accidentally sprayed some on my finger. Yes. So on my finger it was a little because maybe I should spray some. It was more powerful, you know. Yeah, definitely. So. Uh, Mm, interesting rose absolute and wood oil yeah all right so those are oh sorry yeah i didn't read those notes that are actually in bold writing umbret absolute rose absolute and wood oil impressive <laughs> and interesting so yeah there's amber also i guess that means yeah, now at the dry down, I'm getting a bit, quite a bit of food. Um, I'm not really big on wood, you know, never myself. However, this combination is quite in interesting, yeah. So this is pretty interesting. I'm getting quite a different feeling on my skin now than I did when I first tried it. <laughs> I wonder why. Maybe because, you know, the skin on, uh, you know, it may uh, react differently on different parts of the of the body. I think also sometimes, yeah. So, yeah. What else can I say? This is a unisex fragrance. However, um, it is uh, well because of it being a rose fragrance. You know, it is a. Uh, Consider the more feminine, you know, yeah, and I I can see that. However, it still can. It's not you know, like a man can't wear this, especially those who really love rose and or rose rose wood type fragrances. They will love this, I believe. They will not be disappointed. Now I like it better, even better, <laughs> as it has dried down even more yeah so for those who don't like either rose or wood or both don't get this definitely however if, i don't think anybody will be put off by this fragrance because it's really that well made and blended and uh yeah just uh this is uh here down below you see there's some turkish rose here all right <laughs> Jasmine Sandak. So yeah, this is just a, I find it quite a masterpiece, you know. And as I said, my introduction to this house, which I will be checking out more, and I'm really delighted to have found another house, a niche house that uh, really makes beautiful sense. Also today I tried another one of theirs called Madurai or however you call it, Madurai. Really beautiful, but kind of a little more like fresh, not so strong, but yeah, you a really beautiful fragrance, I must say, also. But also Argentina is wow. beautiful, just in a, in a different way. Yes, so uh, I recommend this to anybody who, you know, likes, as I said, rose and wood and likes really like... Uh, Niche fragrances that are that don't always have to be so masculine, you know. <laughs> the people who for whom it is more important to smell, you know, really. Let's see. In to explore, you know, simply different scents that they find interesting and very, you know, appealing. So yeah. There you have it, Argentina by Memo Paris. That was a review. Thank you, and see you soon. Bye.